All right, what's going on, Megatron? So, uh, it's Monday. No, it's Tuesday. So this is uh, 13 3. This one's really easy. We're using mole here. And mole is it's like a wa plus an and. So in this case, if you're saying something like, I like blank and blank, in this case, you would say sushi mo, niku mo, suki desu. I like sushi and meat. Okay? In the same way, if you hate stuff, you would say what? Broccoli mo, eto natto mo. I don't like broccoli or natto. So say it with me. Sushi mo, niku mo, suki desu. Broccoli mo, natto mo, suki jirai desu. So go ahead and say right now what, something that you don't like. Um, that's on, we already know mo ii desu ka. And we already know dame desu. Okay, so talking about clothes, almost all non Japanese clothes are in katakana. So we've got shatsu, right? Shatsu. We've got jacketo. Eto jacketo. And this textbook says this is pants. This is not. Pants. This is zubon. It is not pants. Let's see. Does it say here? It says on the next page. Oh, it's tsu. It's not tsu. What am I doing? Zubon. Okay. It is not pants. Pants is undies. Okay. So boxa brief pants. Pants is usually girls underwear. Uh, boxer to brief are usually guys underwear, but pants are zubon. I think it's from German or something. Um, <clears throat> kutsu are your shoes. And let's go ahead and make some socks here. Those are socks. So kutsu are shoes. And of course, under your socks are kutsu. the heck is my writing? Kutsu shita. Kutsu shita. They're under your shoes, right? So, kutsu shita. We know toke already. Going to the next page, we've got suba. We've got honya. We've got hanaya, sushiya. And I think the only one that you need to know, we know kaimasu already, is kisaten. Kisaten is also known as cafe. So notice there they got a fu with the e sound. <clears throat> so kisaten is like a cafe. It's just a place. There's three Chinese symbols for it. I can't remember what they are, and I don't really don't really care right now. But kisaten, say it with me, kisaten. So, kisaten is a Japanese word for cafe. Cafe, many uh, Japanese cafes are using cafe now. So, Starbucks, for example, uses Starbucks cafe. Kisaten is a more traditional, like Japanese style one. They usually, would, they usually serve something called a morning, which is breakfast. They serve, <clears throat> they serve uh, lunch. And they usually serve a coffee with, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of cool. If you look up the word kisaten, and um, there's just kind of like a rich history of kind of, there's like an 80s funk to it. And they just got this kind of look to them. So if you look up kisaten, um, I follow one thing on Twitter, and they just show all these kind of crazy old style Japanese cafes with like melon soda floats and stuff like that. It's nuts. Okay, so uh, the other boom pole is blank, ka, blank. 
which is nouns only. So you'd say something like, uh, sushi ka, niku ka, dochi ga tsuki desu ka, right? And that's very common when you're separating two nouns and asking a question. Niku ka, sushi ka, dochi ga tsuki desu ka? And <clears throat> the phrase, sore tomo, sore tomo, is a way of saying or blank. So a good question would be, it separates sentences. So, niku ga hoshi desu ka? Sore tomo sushi ga hoshi desu ka? Sore tomo pizza ga hoshi desu ka? Sore tomo hamburger ga suki desu ka? Sore tomo, right, so sore tomo is a way of saying or <clears throat> and separating a sentence with it. Uh, let's see. A very good one on page 271 is i desu ka, which means like if you're butting in on someone, you can say i desu ka. So, and you can add any verb to it with the te form, tabete mo i desu ka, right? Non de mo i desu ka, toi de itte mo i desu ka. So i desu ka is a just, you'll, you'll hear, always hear me say it in the, in, in the class. I'll say, yoroshi desu ka. And yoroshi desu ka is just a more polite way of saying i desu ka. Like, can I start? Or are you listening? Or it, it's just a very catch, it's like a very useful catch phrase or catch all phrase. So, kisaten, your book says on 271, younger people use the word pansa. They don't, don't believe it. It's bullcrap. They use the word zubong. They do not use the word pansa. So, panza is panza. It's girls' underwear. Z uh, boys, it's boksa to brief. But we do not use panza for pants. Okay, so your work today, um, <clears throat> I would say, uh, you get a dock. And I think the most... I think the best one to do is B and C on page 272. Number one, showing desire using tai. So I want to buy books. So person one would say, Hong o kai tai desu. And then you would say, Ja, konban, hon ya, e ikimashou. I desu ne. So that would be the answer for number one on B. C, with pair work, and you can just write this in on a dock and turn it in, do Wednesday. Seito says, Toide itte mo ii desu ka? So all you're going to do is you'll need the, you need, don't need to write the sensei's response. All you need to do is just write the blank mo ii desu ka. Remember, it's the te form verb with mo ii desu ka. That always means, can I do this? So, tatte mo ii desu ka? Suatte mo ii desu ka? Okay, and that's it for 13.3. Hope, hope you're keeping sanitary at home. Oh, yeah.